Okay, welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our first lesson on Unit 4, Financial Decision Making. Uh, we are doing OTHM Level 6, Diploma in Business Management. And my yes. name is Anjum Sattar and my email address there. So please, those are listening and watching this recording. And if you yes. have any question, just drop me email. So today, yes. let's go through our first two LOs. LO1 and LO2. So okay. LO1, LO1 will cover understanding the role of financial information, financial mm -hmm. analysis in business risk assessment and decision making. And LO2 mm -hmm. will go through understand how financial statement and their structure will help you know in the business to decision making. So we'll go through before starting and moving forward, we'll go through uh, our course content, what we're supposed to learn under each learning outcome. So we'll go okay. through we'll go through inductive content. So yes. this is your unit will which will be available this uh, unit spec on Moodle, so you can download as well. So whenever you prepare your assignment, so please you follow this spec as well, which I'll go through assignment brief separately with you as well. So sure. uh, first. Are uh, we have learning outcome one and two, which we'll go through today. As I mentioned, learning outcome three and four will go through next lesson. Next week. Next week. Yeah. Yes. Next week. And then, yes. So we have four learning outcomes. So please, when we'll go through learning outcome one, we have an inductive content, what we're supposed to learn under this unit. We'll discuss okay. sole folder. We'll discuss partnership. We'll discuss a limited company and we'll discuss public limited company, private limited company, cooperative, international business sector and implication okay. to finance. And sure. we'll go through some financial state, how we can structure, how we can prepare them. And we'll discuss some UK accounting standards. Uh, we okay. don't need thoroughly because this your unit is more about the management and decision making in terms of the financial. Okay. So we, we're not learning a lot of debit and credit rule, but we need to know very basic. Huh? Yes, so, yes, sure. So then second learning outcome, which will be linked with the third as well, but today we'll focus more on uh, internal source of information, financial statement, and different types of ratios. But next yes. lesson, we'll pick any company well-known like Unilever or Procter & Gamble, various uh, big multinational companies, and we'll use these ratios to calculate their ratios to measure the performance of those companies. So we'll learn yes. about the industry. So, and then the following lesson, we'll go through three and four inductive content. These are the recommended books. So if you uh, sometimes it's difficult, you can download online ebooks nowadays, but I'll, I'll try to be upload some online on Moodle. So you don't need to be worried and buy these books. So you can follow sure. a lot of, you know, online resources. So sure. that's all. So let's we'll back to our lesson, which we'll start off. Can you see on my screen? Yeah, yeah, I can see clearly. It's very clear. Okay. Yes. okay, brilliant. So next we'll go through now. What is meant by accounting? Any thought about accounting? Yeah, it's about uh, the financial finance, about the uh, numbers. It's all over the numbers, profit, loss, expenses, right? Brilliant. And cost of goods sold, salary issues. It's all about the top line and the bottom line. That's what I understand in my business. Brilliant. Well done. Because accounting is a keeping financial record up to date and preparing financial record in shape of statement about an organization. Yes. If we need to look around the account uh, uh, in and in terms of the performance of our organization, we always look the accounting record. So accounting yeah. card is a very crucial. It's provide the financial information about the company and yeah. it has us to monitor and control the financial position of the company and uh, yeah. recording business transaction in a monetary term in a money value. Yeah. The yeah. financial information to owner and managers and interested parties. Like if you're working in an organization, you are the stakeholder in the company and you're supposed to be 
have uh, some yeah. sort of information so you can make a decision either you want to stay in this company if they are financially good and strong it will help you to grow in the company if they, they are financially weak it's very difficult to sustain in a business so that's all about advising the owner how to use financial reports so which we'll go through further so it's a process accounting is a definition is a process of identifying mating and communicating financial information so that will help you know to make the decision based on the financial information so when we when we start our accounting system so are uh, that it start with the transaction so first thing in account yes. is the transaction. transaction yeah so transaction have two impact one is called debit another is a credit that's why we it's known as a double entry bookkeeping yeah yeah double entry yes so uh, uh, what is the purpose be behind accounting system is to ensure all the transaction are recorded correctly and mm -hmm. can be gathered together for a period in order to prepare the set of financial statement so basically it help us to ensure the business can keep the track its asset and activities facilitate the measurement of business performance to help obtain financial financing and other form of credit if we need to and is to meet the legal requirement it's a legal yes. requirement to keep the record of financial transactions okay so when we have a transaction then we have a primary documents book of prime entries and we prepare the ledgers from and then we prepare the trial balance so which will go through yeah why, why the company keep record is the company keep record for internal control so yeah. internal control is very crucial in term of monitoring the performance of any business record all transaction and show the true financial position so whenever we learn any accounting or the financial statement it need to be true and fair so keyword in financial accounting true and fair if uh, like think about the credit sale if we are making credit sale giving credit to customer and we can record as a sale, we can record as a sale in our uh profit and loss we call income statement which will go through for that slide but i yes. can i can put any sales this my is a figure yes i can yes. write 10 million i can write 20 million if i'm writing uh 20 million actually sale was 5 million mm -hmm. so so that create you know the problem the reason is i'm not telling the true story if i'm not yes. telling true story you will be invest in this company and actually the company is not a worth of that and you yes. making wrong decisions on the basis of this so we need to be yes. tell the true story but in the corporate scandal like world telecom enron various other companies in the world those are collapse they not telling the right stories yes and the lot of investor losing their money due to the they not telling the right story in term of the financial information yes. and corporate scandal carry on happening big scandal and ron and well telecom in america in back 2002 so yes. we make sure we have a true information so that's you know all the main purpose of mm -hmm. so when when we are looking the primary document and the book of prime entry transactions so we start with the transaction accounts yes. in accounting so we like a credit cash sale is one transaction yes credit sale yes. is a one transaction sale return is a one transaction cash purchase is one transaction credit purchase these are all transaction where yes. we start the transaction we record in the primary documents like in term of the sale invoices in term of credit notes these are all you know primary document we keep record then we record the book of prime entries like a cash book sale day book sale return book these are the book of prime entry where we record the information systematically yes any question deep it no sir that's fine 
Okay, so next now we're looking double entry bookkeeping. Always double entry have a dual effect. Mm -hmm. Debit and credit. Yes, yes. Then we're looking the separate entity concept. Every business we treat as a separate business. We yes. keep ourselves separate from the business. Yes. Our finances will keep separate and the business matters will keep separate. Yes. Then we have an accounting equation we need to look around. Always assets. Asset, yes. asset, asset means the things we own it and the yeah. things has economics value. Yeah, like physical properties. Well done. Physical properties, uh, patents, copyrights, all this come yeah. under asset. Yes. So asset can be long term asset which we can use many years or asset can be short term which we can we can use for few uh, for 12 months so yeah, current yeah. asset and non current asset which will further go through so asset is anything which we own it which anything which give us future economics benefit we call asset and license also, right? license also can be asset license A license can be asset as well Lib liability yeah. is a legal obligation by law we are obliged to pay so legal okay. obligation anything we owe it like yeah. loan like our draft so yeah. like mortgage so these are our liabilities so if we total asset minus liabilities we say what is my net asset what is my net yes. thing which I own it, yes? So the net asset figure always will be equal to capital figure. Capital mean investment in the business. So which yes. will go? Okay. In in financial accounting, we have four types of financial statement. Yes. So we, we prepare financial statement in account. So these are four types. Statement of comprehensive income which is also known as income statement on so we call profit and loss. As the okay. word said, profit or loss, all income and expenses we record in the profit and loss account. Yes. So all income and expenses we record in the profit and loss account. Statement of financial position, also known as a balance sheet. So we yes. all record our asset liabilities and capital in the statement of financial position. Third statement yes. is called statement of cash flow or we call cash flow statement where we record how much money in the business, how much money out of the business. So which yes. is very crucial. You have your asset. You have your liability. You have your capital, but actually you don't have a cash. You can't sustain in a business. Exactly. You have properties, you have an asset, you have a, a patents, copyrights, whatever. But if you don't have a cash, you can't afford it to pay salary your workers. Next day, your business claps. So we need to look around this. Then next statement is called statement of change in equity. Equity means the share capital in the company. Yes. Uh, we call statement of change in capital. How much share capital was at the start of the year? How much we have at the end of the year? How many shares we issued? How many shares we bought back or sold? All these, you know, statements show separately as well. So yes. normally these two, four statement is a compulsory by law. All the public limited company must prepare and must be available in the stock exchange or the company right. house where the companies are registered. In the UK, we call company house. Company in, other house. Part of, in other part of the world, different ministry, they regulate the company. Yes. So right. next, any question, Deepak? No, no, it's fine. The four are clear, yes. Brilliant. So next statement we're looking in thoroughly is called statement of profit and loss. So okay. first, in the statement of profit and loss, first thing always come is the sales. Yes, sales and revenue. Sales, sales also known as a revenue, also we call turnover, no different. So maybe one company called my revenue is this, 
some call my channel this and some maybe say my sale this sales not mean profit sale is mean the value of the total sale yes so when we have a sales we minus cost of sales how much cost so cost of goods sold yes uh, yes which is also known as the cost of goods sold so yes, the we, cost, are, we practice this one yes cost of sales is also is a formula we can calculate opening inventory plus purchases plus carriage inward carriage inward mean the delivery charge when we purchase inward like we use sometime terminology inbound warehouse and outbound warehouse yeah. inbound call yeah. center outbound call center inbound mean the things coming in outbound mean the things going out of the business so then we call purchases purchase return if we have we minus and minus closing inventory we will find and we can find the cost real so we can find the cost of sales yes any question yes. no 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 it's fine it's clear now okay so that's we always we need to then if we will sales minus cost of sales will get the gross profit that's not yeah. our net profit gross profit then we have other expenses or other incomes which we will minus so which we minus from our profit and loss account so we can prepare mm -hmm. our net profit any question no no Okay, which further we'll go through on the slides. Okay, so that's our profit and loss. Next statement is called balance sheet. Mm -hmm. So balance sheet statement shows our assets. So always we record first known current asset, which is also known as in other part of the world fixed asset or the long long term asset. Yeah. So machinery, furniture, and plant. Is a, these yes. are the example of non current asset also we call goodwill also non current asset goodwill yes. is intangible asset we can't see it we can't feel it don't have a physical substance but we call it like loyalty, loyalty right like customer loyalty or uh, uh, yes, yes. Like uh, reputation, uh, reputation. yes well done you're right deepak it's a patents copy right yes and all yes, yes. the intangible assets yes then we have a current asset current asset mean the short term asset which we these are carry on changing their values in 12 months within 12 months yes. like cash prepaid is mean advance paid debtors is mean these are our trade receivable if we are selling things on credit to customer yes. we have a receivable which those are called our debtors inventory yes. stock and then we have a liabilities two types current liabilities which we need to settle within 12 months okay. and if we are purchasing thing from supplier credit on credit they called as a creditors we call yes. tables and we use the word sale ledger control as well yeah accrual is mean the payables accrual expense mm -hmm is mean we have a liability to pay them then we have a non current liability which is long term bank loan debentures yeah. and loans. these are all types of long term which is more than a year we need to settle them yes 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 drawing then we have a capital and drawing capital is mean investment and drawing means something you draw for personal use it's known as a drawing if we will draw okay. the money out of the business that's to reduce the value of the business yes okay next we'll move uh, accounting equation like i mentioned you earlier that's you know mm -hmm. f minus liabilities is net asset yes. and asset always equal to capital so asset goes yes. on the debt side and the liability goes on the credit side so always yes. my yes. left hand side should be equal to right hand side Yes. So in the UK we use terminology is called debt click. Debt click. Okay. 
it's so that click is mean what goes in debit what goes in credit okay. so d stand for debit e stand for expenses e stand for asset and d stand for drawing yes so whenever these increase we do debit when decrease we do credit opposite of debit is credit yes so when okay. when the click increase click is mean credit l liability when liability increase we do credit you buying more thing you bought a property and property is the asset is the debit yes which is increasing but you not paid money you bought on mortgage credit so that's your liability so so liability is increasing and asset is also increasing so we do debit or asset as a property and we do credit to whom we need to pay okay that's debit and credit income also is a credit it goes on the credit side if we need to do double entry bookkeeping capital also credit when increase yeah. when decrease it will be opposite yes when yeah. you make payment to bank it mean you decreasing your liability yes so when you decreasing yeah, liability yeah. you doing debit and when you decreasing your asset cash is your asset because you making the payment to supplier it mean your cash position is reducing you doing credit your cash and debit your liability yes so both are so i put it the next slide okay. is there increase asset we do debit decrease asset we do credit increase liability we do okay. credit decrease liability we do debit yes so that's all based yes. on the rule that's all based on the rule is called debt click mm -hmm. okay any question no no it's fine fine okay then yes. we as i mentioned earlier statement of financial position and statement of profit and loss so gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales and profit for the period gross profit minus other expenses okay. so we can so i'll show you next slide this is the template is look like the structure of our profit and loss profit and loss yes so always okay. whenever we need to prepare at the top we always write the company name first the letter head then we write the statement of profit and loss for the period as well always because this is shows sales revenue is goes there less cost of sale which we can calculate yes and minus from so sales minus cost of sales equal to gross profit and then we minus all our other expenses so we'll get our profit yes. Yes. so that is statement of profit and loss then we discuss balance sheet so these mm -hmm. terms i discuss you know debtors those are trade receivable sale ledger creditors trade payable and purchase ledger okay, okay. so statement of financial position which is balance sheet so it's come non current asset come first mm -hmm. then it come current asset yes then current asset minus current liabilities okay. it is a net current asset mm -hmm. then we minus our non current liability from the non current asset it is become okay. net asset we add okay. all the net asset so my this c is equal to capital because we learn the accounting equation net asset equal to capital okay 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 yes, yes yes so investment for the year which is mean the capital then we okay. have a and profit the profit mean this year profit and the previous so that's also part of capital when you add them these together or if we have a drawing in the question we can minus so this c is equal to this c Yes. yes our accounting yes. equation net asset equal to net capital okay yes okay so types of asset i mentioned your current asset what those are current liabilities what those are then next is we need to look around accounting standards okay 
Okay, nowadays we are using more, it's called IAS, International Accounting Standards. Okay. Which is because the company don't have operation in one country, they have operation almost all over the world. Due yeah. to the growth of technology, so that's why we're using IAS. So IAS 1 is called International Accounting Standard 1, where we prepare all the financial statements. Then we have a substandard IES 16 property plant equipment. I will depreciate them. I will record them. Yes. IES 2 is inventory. Inventory means stock. How we'll do the value of inventory. Yes. All guidance is come. In the UK, the standard is known as a statement of standard accounting uh, practice. Uh, we call SAPS. And for the reporting, we call FRS, it's called Financial Reporting Standard. But when we are using international, we call IES, and we use the word IFRS, it's called International Financial Reporting Standards. Yes. So normally, a little bit is a terminology difference, otherwise, it's not, yes. not a big difference. It can be structurally different, slightly. Different. Yes. Some call sales, some call sale revenue, some call turnover. Yes. Any question, Deepak? No, no, that's it. That's it. Okay, then we have accounting concepts. We need to normally, if your accountant, you need to be. When some some people use an account going concern, going concern mean it's not mean something bad. It means the business will carry on its normal operations until. Are unforeseen period of time, yes? For yes. season. So that's a called going concern. It means the business will carry on at current position in future, yes? That's all yes. about. Accrual, yes. accrual means anything when income or expenses happen, we should record in the book of accounts. Like yes. if we're selling things on credit, somebody, but still we record the sales on sales in our book of account, even we're not getting the cash, maybe cash will receive after a good number of years. Yeah. But still this year expenses will record. If we use gas electricity energy, we should record the gas electricity as a cost this year, even we'll pay the bills after next year. Mm -hmm. So that's it called approval or matching concept. Prudence, prudence as the word prudence mean uh, where there is an uncertainty amount included must be prudence. Prudence mean is a true. Yes, we match the degree. We should record the asset if we have asset, if we have a liability. We could prove by the reality. Yes, it should be. Consistency, so financial statement need to be consistent. Not mm -hmm. one year you prepare five months, next year 18 months. We need a consistency in classification and presentation. Yeah. That should be classified in and the liability. Okay, any question? No, 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 it's fine, fine, fine so far. Okay, next we're looking type of ownership. If you want to start a business, you can start as a sole trader, one person business. Okay. You can start as a partnership, two people, maximum, minimum two, maximum can be 20, or in some yeah. country, partnership act allow up to 50, but okay. not yeah. more than 50. So, yeah. sole trader, one person, partnership, two or more, and the yeah. corporation means the limited company which need to be registered in the company house. Yeah. So, all they have advantage and disadvantage. So. Uh, in case of sole trader, all risk and reward goes to 1%. Yes. In partnership, we share our liabilities. Yes. But yes. if partnership not registered, some banks, if we are borrowing money, so bank can claim from our personal house as well. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. If we are a limited company, nobody can touch our personal properties. If the company don't earn the profit, you're a director, nobody asks you. But if the director involved in the fraud, they can be charged as a criminal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, other not. Other so, that's all, you know, we need to. Next, we're looking ratios. What do you mean by ratios? 
something like that. Yes, it's a difference between uh, everything is a hundred percent. What are you getting out of hundred? Yes, are comparing two numbers. Yes, yes. So financial ratios are useful indicator to measure the company's performance. And financial situation, most ratios can be calculated from the information provided by the financial statement. Yes. Ratios can be used to measure the comparison between difference time and trend from year to year. Last year ratio, this year ratio. Last yes. quarter trend, this quarter trend. Last quarter staff up sense, this quarter quarter staff. Yes, so all help us to measure the performance. Yes. Benchmarking is mean the standard. So every we can say benchmark is labor turnover. Benchmark can be every pound we'll invest. Like some industry we can generate, you know, 10%. Some industry we can generate 20%. So whichever industry we work, we can look around. Like some people say, if you're doing business in food industry, you can earn 400% profit out of it. Yes. But yes. the food industry is a competition as well. Food street everywhere, food shops and carry on opening. Opening, yes. yes. Look around as well. So company result against the industry average. What we are earning, what is the industry average? Every company is earning in the industry. Why yeah. we are earning less than the industry, so we need to look around. When we divide ratios, we can divide ratios into four main categories. We can categorize them. Profitability yeah. ratios. Profitability means how much profit that we are earning against the income and expenses. Liquidity, liquid means the most near to the cash, our yes. cash itself. So we look around the liquidity ratios. Then next ratio is called use of resources. How effectively, like you know, one of the great scholar in economics, Neil Robin, he wrote, he wrote in his book, we have unlimited resources, we have limited resources, and we have unlimited wants. How effectively we use resources. So it's a big problem. Uh, the developing countries they are very rich in natural resources, but they don't have a knowledge to use the resources effectively. So that's why in the companies we need to look at those we have a knowledge, skills, and abilities to use resources effectively. Yes. So we can use our resources. So not resources we can classify them three M's. We have every company have three types of resources. M stand for manpower, M stand for money, and M stand for material. Under material can be any type of asset. Yes. So financial position, these ratios compare the relationship between equity and liability. Yes. Okay. So which will go through I copied all the ratios and the formulas. I'm not going through all in slide, but in the next lesson we'll, we'll calculate these ratios. You will learn more in detail because this learning outcome is a learning outcome as well. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking at the profitability ratios, gross profit divided by revenue. We can calculate profit from operation. We can calculate as well total equity plus non current liability. So these yeah. are the formulas we need to use, huh? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, then we'll go through liquidity ratio. Liquid means the most near to cash. Current ratio, current asset divided by current liability, that give us. So always, normally we say it need to be two to one. It means two pound worth of current asset you have. One pound liability is mean current liability you can be one pound. But this yeah. is not hard and fast rule. This is the varies in industry to industry. Yes. So in the balance sheet, we can find how much is the current asset we have, how much is the current liability we have, and we can divide it, we can find the ratios. Ratio, yes. Okay, then we have an asset tax ratio, which is most liquid. Sometime inventory, you have a stock, you know, lot of stock in your warehouse, like you have a lot of window 98 CDs in your warehouse, but no one is a window 98 CD is going to buy it now. Because yes. that software is outdated. 
So we need to look yeah. around the print asset we have minus our inventory that we can close, reduce the value and we divide it by current liabilities so we can find what is the ratio. Normally in the industry, our data is need to be one to one. One pound yeah. worth of asset, one pound worth of liability. But if you yeah. are and profitable, we can look around in industry. Then the next is the use of resources, ratios, inventory divided by cost of sale. How effectively, mm -hmm. how many, how many, how quick we are in converting inventories into finished goods are we, how quick we are selling. Yes, yes, yes. How many days we are receiving money from our credit customer and how many mm -hmm. days we are paying. So normally, mm -hmm. receivable days need to be lower and okay. need to be lower. The financial position ratios, we always look at the interest cover. Yes. The profit from operation divided by finance cost. Yes. So it means, you know, how many days the in, the profit we are earning, how many times is covering our finance cost? How many mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. higher than the finance cost? Finance cost means the interest cost. Low, yeah. Any questions? Okay. No, 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 no. It's clear so far. Okay. Then next, we're looking the gearing. Like you drive yeah. your car in a high gear, and it's a high risk. So yeah. we need to make sure is that our gearing ratio need to be sixty to forty. So it means you have a forty per sixty percent debt and forty percent at least your own investment in the business. Business. Yes. Yes. Now so, I. This is, yes. So, okay. so non current liability, which is mean long term liability divided by total equity plus non current no, liability. No, no, no. So, we can find this ratio by using this formula. Yes. Any question? No, no, it's fine. Okay, that's all. We learn about different types of ratios. Yes. We discuss, okay. we discuss today how many types of financial yeah. state we okay. prepare. And we learn about types of ownership. Yes. 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 So we can start, and we learn double entry bookkeeping basic rules as well. Yes. So, all it, so all you know, if we have a ratio is not appropriate, which leads to the risk, and we need to make a decision. If we have a yes. higher ratio, we need to make a decision why this is happening. So yes. we discuss about accounting record is keeping systematical business transaction in the book of accounts. So that's yes. all you know today. Any question if you have, please drop me email. We can go through and these slides sure, will sure. be online. Sure, sure. And uh, okay. I'll go through you. with you. And uh, before finishing, I'll show you quick, you know, assignment brief as well. Okay. So that's your assignment brief is being given the scenario. We've been given the task, task one, what we need to be. We need to examine the factor, both financial and non-financial. Yes. And so which I'll go through in the next lesson, more details today, because I explained in the next lesson, I'll go through how you can address, you know, yes. Yes. learning outcome. And the yes. task two and three, we need to discuss as well, which I discuss with you. Ratios, we can use ratios and we have a store is called Poundland in the UK. So we can download the financial statement and we can calculate. Mm -hmm. The task three is a mind map. Mind map, we can create a little boxes where we can look around the main stakeholders. Okay. Stakeholder mean anybody who has any interest in the business is called stakeholders, workers, shareholders, uh, employees. Yes, all local government, these are all the stakeholders. We yes. can make mind math and we can write article on it. So that's, yes. uh, and that's some figures about own land is all being given here. Yes. So these yes. are the plan in our task three. We've been given the asset, we've been given the financial statement, yes, mm -hmm. that and we can calculate this. Okay, that's all there we need to, that's assignment we need to prepare. So, yes. but I'll assist you and we can go through in during next lesson. If you have okay. any questions, drop me email. I'll get back to you. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Always, always, yeah. Uh, if you want to, so if you.
if you want to find something like financial ratios, yes. Okay. And you want then to, can. you can just just type you know financial ratio then Kaplan, and it's come you okay. know financial. Uh. And you can read yeah. this online books as well. Huh? Sure, sure, sure. Yes, that's nice. I'm always following through this one. Great. So that you know, well, it's quite good. It's very comprehensive, mm -hmm. and Kaplan is quite good. You know, all these books and while just uh, yeah. you can use you Google search to do this. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep up to here, and uh, I'll speak to you next week. Have a yeah, sure. nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank and you. you have my email. Huh? Have yeah, a wonderful sure. thank you very much. Yeah. See you, Thank bye -bye. you so much. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.